Well, today's video, we're still doing the continuation. It's uh, getting towards the middle of Augs in August. And we got uh, another upgrade part from Corvo's Defense. If some of you guys have been to a AUG carbine class or have taken this out to the range and have actually tried to do uh, some more advanced uh, mag interchanges and just get your timing down or if you run an AUG in competition, um, you guys are kind of going to notice on your standard AUG, um, this being a non-NATO, this does take the standard SA uh, I mags, this the waffle mags. Um, so we're just going to cover that one because this part is specifically for this variant of the AUG. Now the part will work with any of the variants, that being an A3, an A3M1, or the A2, but uh, this part will not work for the NATO version that takes the, the AR mag. So what I'm talking about and in getting into guys is the mag release button. You guys know that this one's polymer, um, it's kind of narrow, and sometimes rather you don't get good lockup and you'll drop a mag out because you don't seat it all the way, or trying to take it out, you realize you have to push this uh, so far up inside the stock to get it, the magazine to release. Um, you can actually miss it in a pair of gloves if you shoot cold weather. So it, it's not a bad design, and granted, this is not an AR, so when you do the transfer from the AR platform into an AUG platform, you have to relearn and have to adapt. I mean, just like guys that go from ARs to AKs, you know, the way that they function, the operating procedures are totally different. But if you want something to kind of speed that up, what I think is a good upgrade, um, and it's just a really nice part in general, is the Corvo's Defense, their big butterfly magazine release. Um, this is actually a milled piece of aluminum. It's oversized. It's got at least 20%, I think it's actually like a 30% wider uh, tactile pad to do mag changes. And since I've installed one of these on another uh, AUG, I have not missed a lockup when inserting the mag. Like it just bites and you don't have a uh, issue or a problem. Actually getting the release is so much easier. Um, this really, for all of the Corvos parts that I have uh, installed, used, and got the demo, um, this has got to be the top of the line. You know, if you're going to buy the first upgrade part or change something out on your AUG, this is it. And I'll show you how to install it. Uh, to do the install, I mean, first and foremost, you know, you guys got to make sure your weapon's clean, check it, empty it. Uh, you know, don't need a live round going off by accident. Don't do this in the back of the pickup truck. You know, real quick on the table. You're going to need a flat blade screwdriver. And in the back, on the uh, left-hand side, which would be on your bolt, bolt release side, you're going to see a flat blade uh, or a flat head bolt here. We're going to unscrew that. There is a captured nut on the other side. And sometimes these actually have a little bit of Loctite. Uh, we'll pull this one off. Mine actually fell out, and you can actually see there's a little bit of Loctite. So uh, grab yourself a Q-tip, or if you've got a, a bristle brush, um, you know, get the get the old Loctite out. Just clean it out real quick. We'll get this set and prepped as we go. Um, for some of you guys, um, I've had some questions on you know like difficulty level. You know, can I do this or do I need to send it out? Um, literally, guys, if you can take an AUG apart, you know, pull the receiver or the barrel out of it, you can do this mag button. It's really not that complicated. It just takes a minute to do. So, once that's done, rotate this over, take that flat blade screwdriver, and go ahead and push that nut out, that bolt. Alright guys, I've actually cheated. I went and grabbed a punch real quick just to make this easier. Uh, this one is actually wanting to be stuck inside and since I really can't get a good grip on it, I don't want to just rip it out and damage the threads. So just one second here, get a better, we'll get the punch and we'll pull this out. All 
Alrighty. Got the punch, push that out. Once you've uh, removed this flat blade uh, screw out, it's gonna have Loctite on it. You need to clean that up also. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the spring and your magazine, your old button. Let's set this over to the side for a minute. Now, make sure when you go to reinstall this that the long side of the spring goes to the back side of the mag button. Your short side goes in to the mag button. So I'll double check that. Let's get that brush back out and clean off this old Loctite. Now you do not have to put any Loctite back on this if you don't want to. They just they come from the factory that way. And you guys will notice any time that you ever pull the first screw out, uh, the factory uh, here in the U.S. and in Austria has an, a tendency of using a mixture of blue and red Loctite. So it, it's it's high heat. It's always kind of a pain in the butt to get out. So if you're having difficulties, it, that's really the reason. So we'll do that. All right, your new mag button. Here's your spring. Like I said, the short side is going to go in. Goes right there between. Now one cool thing that the Corvos kit does come with, it comes with this little steel punch pin. And this is actually an alignment tool to stick in. We'll get this here inside. Get it lined up on each. All right, get that lined up. Now when you go to do the reinstall, it's simple, you're just gonna slip it right back in and set it inside. The big thing will be to make sure the back of the mag, of the mag button will catch inside the stock. Right here at this tail section, you gotta make sure it slips in underneath the stock. And that's what catches it and locks it. One second. Mag button is pushed into the back. What you can do is actually rotate it over. Do make sure you put the bolt, the your bolt back in the right direction because it is a captured system on the opposite side. And then this will just take some alignment issue, which looking over. We got that there. I'm actually going to use my hammer just to make it easier to push this back through. Once it goes back down, that little pin is going to jump out. You can rotate it back over, insert the nut, make sure you get it square inside this cavity that you don't strip out the stock and over tighten this. Best and the easiest thing to do is actually just put your finger over it, hold it, and then tighten it up. This does not have any torque setting or anything. It is strictly uh, until snug. So we'll take it up to snug, rotate it back around and check it, make sure we haven't stripped anything. And I would recommend for you, um, if you're not gonna use Loctite, to put about a quarter turn on it once it's snugged up. If you're gonna run Loctite, you can do the quarter snug or uh, about an eighth, and that's it. Um, now you can check, it's gonna be a little stiff. If you've got it too tight in here, you can actually just back it up a little bit and it'll uh, depress a little bit easier. We'll check it again. There we go. Let me grab a mag and I'll show you how well this works. Alright guys, well here's something cool, a uh, sneak preview. I'm actually doing some TNE review work on. This is actually in the new mag pool. Uh, it's like a P mag style but for the AUG uh, with a side window. So we're going to use this mag. I'm actually in the process of testing these and I'll let you know more about them. Uh, I'll have to look up the gentleman that referred me to these, um, asked you know, would I check them out. 
uh, when I do the review, I'll try to remember your name and say thank you, but I did get a couple and we're gonna test them. So, here's the new mag button. As you guys can tell, it's so much bigger. And, the, and it actually has this butterfly effect, so it's much easier to get on the bottom. And then doing your mag ch change, it goes in, and you got a much bigger area for, for it to depress. And when you rotate it over, you can actually hit it from the corner and the mag and it mag come right out. So this here, this has got to be one of my best upgrades, uh, favorite things to do to these rifles. Um, if you guys have big thumbs or if you're starting to have issues just doing good mag changes uh, on the range or shooting competitions, um, you should really check out the Corvos uh, Butterfly, this mag release, and give it a whirl. It will change everything on this rifle. But we'll give you a top side view. It doesn't stick out much further. Can't see it from the top. But you can actually grab it here, and in doing so, it will actually start to eject the mag. Hopefully you guys are catching it on camera. Get a little closer. You know, when you hit it, you'll actually see the mag jump. So that's one nice thing about it. It gets it out and makes it run a lot easier. All right, guys. Well, hope you, you guys like the part, like the install. It helps you out. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. Till next time.